Listen up, you sorry lot. Gather round. We're handing out assignments today. Garrett, you hear that? I'll be a ranger before nightfall. Maybe I'll let you clean my boots. Are <laughs> oh, you still sore about the business with the knife? Don't be. I know it was that potato fucker Cotter. And I'll thank you for not letting him get away with it. Nice to know there's at least one person here I can trust. No telling what else Cotter might try. There's enough troubles in the world without having to worry about a man stealing your silver. Silver? This here is a precious memory. Worth so much more than silver. Aren't you two looking all cosy? Careful there, Finn. You get caught fucking pigs, and gathered there, he'll snitch you out. You can't trust that one. One minute he's your friend, the next he's planting the dagger in your back. You can't just go around robbing your brothers, Cotter. Brothers? I don't see any of those round here. Just backstabbing criminals who sell their own mothers out. You'll always be an asshole, Garrett. Wish I'd never met you. Look. It's over, all right. Just drop it. You can do whatever you like. Bloody hell, Cotter. Stop buggering Garrett. If there's a score to be settled, it's with me. Now, it doesn't matter what the world once called you. After today, you're all brothers. Could even be that the man standing next to you saves your life one day. Let's find out then, shall we? Casper to the builders. Finn to the Rangers, Eric to the Stewards, Hugh to the Rangers, Cotter to the Builders. And finally, Garrett to the Rangers. That's it. May all the gods preserve you. We're Rangers, Garrett! There's gonna be a lot more dead wildings from here on. Should you northern boys want your gods to give a blessing to this union, there's a weirwood tree beyond the wall. Now form up and follow my lead. Garrett, it's good to hear you'll be a ranger. Thank you. I know you wanted this. I'm ready to say my vows. I didn't have many friends when I first arrived at Castle Black. Grin and Pip, they'd as soon have seen me bloodied in the yard than offer a hand. Now... I'd die for either of them. Our brothers are all we have. Cotter. You shouldn't be here, Garrett. I can't believe they made you a ranger. What was Frostfinger thinking? You can't be trusted. Like it or not, we're brothers now. Means we're gonna have to get along. <laughs> How? You're a backstabbing traitor. You're no brother. Cause you've got Jon Snow pulling strings for you. Cotter, I swear. Wish I had that. A friend in the watch. Someone who knows their way around. Knows the thieves from the rapists. Being alone at Castle Black. Well, it just means I'll die early. You might have friends if you stop stealing everything in sight, Cotter. Well, it's easy for you. You know how to handle yourself in a fight. Me. Either I steal the other bloke's weapon, or he uses it on me. I just... What? I miss all people I can trust. Feels like everyone's out to get me. Every man out for his own self. No one to trust. I know it's rough. But times like this, you realise you have strength you never knew you had. <laughs> I just need enough to knock Finn on his ass. You miss being away from your family. Home-cooked meals. I lost my father and my sister not long ago. Oh, I'm sorry. 
I know how that feels. Well, just know that you're not alone here. I guess that's why I got so mad about the knife, Garrett. I figured I'd lost a friend. But he'd never watch my back. I'd be alone. Under Frostfinger's boot the whole time. You watch out for me. I'll watch out for you. Deal. I'm sorry about the knife, Garrett. And all that trouble I caused for you with Frostfinger. I appreciate you not giving up on me. You handled that well, Garrett. They say the old gods watch us through the weirwoods. More than watch us. They know us. The gods are not forgiving. We brothers have to be. We're here. After this, there's no going back. Now go. Take your vows. In the eyes of the old gods, the Night's Watch offers you a place beside us. Now say the words for all to hear and embrace us as your own. Until, until my, my death. death. I shall take, I shall no, take wife, no wife, hold no, hold lands, no lands, father, no, father children. no children. I shall wear, I shall no, wear crowns no crowns and win no, and win glory. no glory. I shall, I shall live and die, and die at, my at my post. I, I am the sword, sword in, the in the darkness. I am the watcher, watcher on the walls. The walls. I am the shield that guards the realms of men. I pledge my life and honor to the Night's Watch for this night and all the nights to come. You knelt as boys. Rise now as men of the Night's Watch. Welcome to your new family, Garrett. We're men of the watch now. Means we get to piss off the wall whenever we want. No, you needed an excuse to play with yourself, Finn. Garrett, you've got a visitor. Over there. Well, who is it? Do I look like your fucking squire? Don't forget the practice shorts. Uncle Duncan! Garrett! It's good to see you. They told me you were at the Weirwood Tree. Wasn't sure you'd be back in time. I've missed you, Uncle. I never expected to see you here. A business with the Night's Watch. A delivery of ironwood shields to keep you all out of harm's way. That settles it then? Aye, the delivery looks in order. Oh, the gods do grant miracles. You look well, nephew. I'm told you're a ranger now. That's good. Uncle? Things aren't going well at Ironrath, Garrett. I know. I heard the news about Ethan. I wasn't there when it happened. Small mercy, I suppose. Not having to see our lord struck down with such barbarity. But House Forrester is nothing if not resilient. Our house 
I survived for centuries. Let me help, Uncle. I can't just sit here at the wall while our enemies are circling Ironrath. That's why I'm really here. Do you recall Lord Forrester's last words to you? Just before he died, Gregor's final command spoken to you in confidence. He said the North Grove must never be lost. Indeed. But first, it must be found. I've been reading his journals, scouring the legends for any clue what Lord Forrester knew. I think I've found the answer. He describes a fortification, a protected citadel of sorts, hidden from the world, one filled with great power. It was scattered among his notes. Almost an obsession. A vital secret he protected at all costs. And you think it's north of the wall? His notes suggest as much. And you must find it, Garrett. The search won't be easy. But you're a tuttle. Our Lord knew you wouldn't fail him. Somewhere north of the wall. That's not a lot to go on, Uncle. How am I supposed to find it? The first chance you get to head north, take it. And then? You leave the Night's Watch behind, and strike out on your own. This is no small request I make. I know that. I agree, Uncle. But how? A brave answer, Garrett. This will help guide you. I found it hidden in Lord Forrester's strongbox. What is that? A page from our Lord's journal. But one he tore out and kept separate. Why, I don't know. It's a map. To the North Grove. Aye. You said it was a citadel of some kind. Could this be it? No. No, it couldn't be that easy. It's hidden here somewhere. This looks familiar. What is it, Garrett? Talia gave me this. Before I left. Oh. Wait. Lord Forrester gave Ethan a similar one as well. Roderick too. I wonder... I used to be frightened of were trees. But before I was a man grown, I swear, I actually could hear him whispering sometimes. Hear the werewoods whisper. Bloody ice dragon. Gods be good. Now that I would love to see. Look. There's a clasp. It must open. I had no idea this was inside. Another werewood. But why? Maybe it's a key to solving the map. Perfect fit. Maybe it's telling us where to look on the map. Oh, it's the whole map that has to turn. The werewood's mouth, Uncle. Whatever this place is, the North Grove must be near. There's only one way to find out. Here, take this map. Everything we hold dear may well depend on your success. It's a lot to put on your shoulders. You can tell everyone back at Ironrath that Garrod Tuttle has taken up the cause. Your sense of honor is a quality I've long admired, Garrett. Gods watch over you. You're the son I never had. Let's go, Garrett! I don't know. I'd probably like little 
Shah.